Now, uh, some of the frameworks uh, which we can use to a certain extent uh, are not specifically to do with security. Um, they are business uh, frameworks or, or models. Um, and uh, so we're going to look at some of those. They, they, I mean, we, you know, we have uh, management issues, as, as I talked about in terms of security management. So management tools, business tools, are um, of use to us in, in a variety of ways. Um, primarily, uh, oh well, let, let's, let's get into it. Uh, one that is widely used and actually has a security offshoot is the Zockman framework um, uh, with an offshoot called SABSA um, and we'll go into that in a bit more detail. Um, the uh, in, in, in a few minutes. Uh, the uh, Zockman framework um, is a, a breakdown framework. It's um, got similarities to COSO. Um, it uh, allows you to uh, look at your business in, in small chunks and, as I say, you know, sort of solve the security problems in those individual chunks and hopefully put it back together in terms of an actual architecture. Um, the... Uh, and... Well, we'll get into the details in a bit. Uh, Calder Moyer is an interesting one. Uh, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage here. I uh, probably should be doing video editing here because uh, these uh, three uh, frameworks in particular are, are very uh, graphically oriented, um, very visually oriented. Uh, the uh, the Zockman framework is a, is a grid uh, with rows and columns. Uh, Calder Moyer um, is another breakdown framework. Um, it's like COSO. It's like Zockman. But it, it also, it's an interesting uh, formulation of a, a breakdown framework uh, because they seem to have tried to involve a the idea of a color wheel uh, in it uh, so um, it's a, it's an interesting one uh, now uh, another uh, business oriented one is the balance score card um, this divides it's it's in a sense it's a breakdown framework um, it divides your business into um, four different areas, topics, um, areas of concern, um, and then subdivides those into uh, different uh, categories within those topics so that you can score how well you are doing, uh, you know, by answering a, a series of questions. The, uh, uh, the idea... Uh, the, the name, Balanced Scorecard, um, it lets you know that the, the idea here is when you have scored yourself, when you have given yourself a score in the different areas, um, the, the basic idea is take the area that gets the lowest score and concentrate your ideas for improvement in that particular area. Um, and that's, you know, that's reasonable to... You know, where are you weakest? Uh, strengthen those. So, uh, that's uh, those. But to return to the, um, the Zockman framework, um, the, the rows of the Zockman framework um, represent six levels of architecture. Um, it's sort of as the uh, the views with increasing levels of, of detail and the columns uh, 
uh, sort of go into the six abstractions or you know w5 plus h uh, where when why uh, who what and and how uh, so that's that's what it is and, and we make a grid with that um, now uh, to uh, to look uh, in, in a little bit more explanatory detail uh, on the uh, uh, the rows um, we're we're looking at uh, in the first uh, contextual uh, scope and requirements uh, the next uh, conceptual enterprise and process um, the next logical system requirements um, the next physical and technology development the la uh, next component and uh, looking at it possibly as built um, and uh, deployment you know this is the actual pro uh, production model and uh, functioning and evaluation components um, now uh, SABSA is the Sherwood Applied Business Security Architecture uses the Zockman framework and uh, very similarly says uh, that the, the rows are contextual, conceptual, logical, physical, and component. And, and so that's um, how it's broken down. And then again, the columns are, are the, the same uh, W5 uh, type thing. So um, it gives you a breakdown. Um, it's uh, uh, not exactly the, the same as the, um, the COSO structure, which breaks it down more in terms of, you know, actual offices, departments, and then sub-departments, um, those types of things uh, with, uh, in that. But uh, in, in any case, it allows you to break down the, the enterprise, you know, the entire enterprise, and as I say, you know, how does one secure an entire enterprise? That's a bit too much to uh, take in in one bite. So breaking it down into smaller chunks that allows us to do more specific analysis, start to get ideas, and then uh, put those ideas together into a hopefully uh, cohesive and coherent security architecture as a whole.